Hi friends. Welcome to a uh, book talk. The book for today is The Secret Woman by Eleanor Hibbert. Her uh, pseudonym is uh, Victoria Holt. Friends, uh, The Secret Woman is a gothic romance. Now gothic romance uh, are generally mysteries involving the supernatural and a uh, heavy tinge with horror and they usually set against uh, they are usually set against uh, um, uh, dark backgrounds of uh, medieval ruins of haunted castles and even islands so this book is a suspense novel written by english author elena hibbert to repeat under the pseudonym of uh, victoria holt it was originally published in 1970 and is uh, considered to be a bestseller set in 1887 It uh, chronicles uh, Anna Brett's uh, scandalous romance with the married uh, ship uh, captain Redvers uh, Stratton as they sailed across the South Seas. Tensions build among Anna Redvers and everyone else on board. The serene, uh, the serene lady, and a mystery involving murder, the destruction of ship call. Um, the secret woman and a missing fortune of diamonds uh, begins to uh, unravel in this book the first edition of the secret woman was published in the united states in 1970 by double day and company inc in uh, new york since uh, its initial release several other versions of it have been made uh, the most uh, recent publication was done by source books uh, casablanca in uh, uh, niper vale Uh, Illinois in uh, 2014 The Secret Woman is considered as a best seller uh, of uh, uh, 1970 along with uh, Eric uh, Siegel's uh, love story and John Fowles the French uh, lieutenant's uh, woman the book's uh, success was likely but it was um, uh, also bolstered by the success of uh, Hibbert's uh, previous novels uh, such as uh, The Mistress of uh, Melian and uh, Shivering Sands. The positive reception of these uh, works eventually gave uh, Hibbert the title of uh, Queen of uh, Romantic uh, Suspense, driving the sales of Victoria Holt novels to over 56 million copies uh, worldwide. The main characters of this novel are Anna Brett, narrator and uh, protagonist in her late twenties, heiress to Charlotte Brett's antique business and governess to Redvers uh, Stratton's son Edward Redvers Stratton in short is known as uh, Red in this conversation then you have Charlotte Brett Anna Spinster aunt who runs an antique business out of Queen's house and of course Red uh, who is a sailor uh, captain of uh, the secret woman and the serene lady and happens to be anna's love interest now a secret woman and the serene lady are two ships then you have a uh, shantel uh, loman uh, charlotte monique's nurse and anna's uh, closest friend then after you have rex uh, crediton uh, red's half brother and to Uh, lady Crediton's business and riches, and of course uh, Chantel's uh, love interest. Then after you have uh, Monique uh, Stratton. Uh, she is uh, the wife of Red, and mother of Edward, and a native of uh, Coral Island, where a lot of action is there in the story. Anna Brett was born in India due to her father being in the Indian Army, but when she was about eight years old. Her parents moved her to live in Langmouth, England, with her aunt Charlotte, into what is referred to as a Queen's House. While in Langmouth, Anna was educated and began to learn uh, the ways of uh, Aunt uh, Charlotte's uh, antique business as she grew up. Uh, one on one uh, autumn night, a sailor named Red uh, Stratton comes to see Anna, and their romantic interest. in each other uh, starts growing from there as aunt charlotte grows older and weaker she hires a nurse 
by the name of uh, Chantel Loman to look after her. Chantel uh, seems to brighten up the otherwise uh, dreary ambience of uh, the Queen's house and quickly becomes uh, uh, good friends uh, with Anna. Then one morning Chantel finds uh, Charlotte uh, dead out of an out of a drug overdose and it is perceived that uh, she had uh, opium she had a opium tablet and because of that she would have uh, and because of uh, aunt charlotte's death it is perceived that anna is going to be uh, the beneficiary uh, so she becomes the prime suspect but uh, then chantel uh, successfully defends her and the death uh, is soon declared as a suicide. Thereafter, Chantel takes up a job in the nearby uh, castle Crediton, caring for Monique uh, Stratton, uh, wife of uh, Reds that uh, Anna had not uh, previously known about. Anna discovers uh, she has inherited uh, serious uh, debts from Aunt Charlotte and decides to sell her antique furniture and even rent out uh, the Queen's house uh, to recover those debts. During her time at the castle, uh, Chantel and Rex Crediton, uh, Red's half-brother, uh, began spending a lot of time together. So things are now growing up. Uh, Chantel and uh, this guy uh, Rex Crediton, who is uh, Red's uh, half-brother, they start uh, getting very close to each other. She finds out that Rex and uh, Monique are uh, going to sail uh, on Red's uh, ship, uh, the Serene Lady, to Australia and Monique's home island of uh, Coral. So this is what uh, Anna gathers and uh, she gets a little suspicious now, what all is happening, uh, I really can't make out. In the meanwhile, Chantel helps uh, Anna to get uh, hired as uh, Edward's governess, who is uh, Red's uh, son. During the voyage, Edward gets drugged and Anna suspects that someone on board is planning uh, to throw him overboard. But uh, most of the passengers assumed it is just a, a kind of a prank. Once the ship arrives uh, on the island of uh, Coral, Red declares his love to Anna and gives her a letter asking for her to wait to be with him just before he departs. Now there is an interesting sense of uh, tens tension and doom uh, during Anna and uh, Chantel's uh, two month stay in the island. Meanwhile, Monique grows uh, more and more distraught and angry over the thought that Red doesn't uh, love her. Red is her husband and he doesn't love her. And Anna finds out that Chantel had married Rex before they set sail. Upon, this, upon the, the serene lady's return, Chantel gives Anna a long letter explaining that uh, she was the one plotting to take over uh, Castle Crediton and that she had in fact uh, been responsible for Aunt uh, Charlotte's uh, uh, death. In order uh, for uh, Chantel and Rex to inherit the castle and the family which is both Red and Edward uh, needed to be dead. So Chantel had drugged Edward on the ship in an attempt to kill him, uh, but the plan failed. Then in uh, Coral Island, Chantel had poisoned some coffee that uh, Monique was uh, going to give it to Red, her husband, in order to uh, frame his wife for his murder. But Chantel accidentally uh, drinks the same coffee herself and dies. Anna returns to England and continues to be Edward's uh, governess until he begins uh, attending school. She then uh, returns to the Queen's house and uh, one of her maids informs her that uh, Monique in fact had died in the island of uh, Coral. Uh, Red returns to England so that he and Anna can finally begin uh, their new life. So that's uh, the a story and uh, it's an old book well written and i would give it seven out of ten uh, so friends that's all for today goodbye and see you soon